hey you guys welcome back um thank you for coming back actually and i'm excited to do this vlog this is the halloween edition all the way from queens new york so check this out i got this at the dollar store oh. <laughs> i think it's so cool it was a dollar like you cannot go wrong it even has like light up lights which is actually not working right now but um it was working before i think the batteries might have died out but how cool is this right a dollar dude um and then i added like little i mean it looks kind of weird now but i added little spiders to it um and then i hung it up on a wall and it looked really cool but um welcome back you guys i'm excited i um want to talk about a couple of things as far as uh since it's fall and halloween season um i had a little halloween party for my son um, just with close family and, and like one or two friends and that's it. Um, so I wanted to, you know, kind of vlog about it and talk about what I bought for Halloween as far as Halloween decorations and costumes. I bought like two costumes because I wasn't sure what exactly I wanted to do for the party and also for actually Halloween for, you know, I dress up for Halloween all the time. I love it. It's one of my favorite, favorite holidays. So, um, I got a little red riding wood costume here um from legs avenue for like about i think it was 48 dollars um and then i got this one from walmart i saw it and it was so cute and it's a little witch's costume and it comes with a hat um and it was only 24.99 from walmart i got an extra large which is a uh, woman's i believe size 14 14 16 um and it fits perfectly good a little bit short but not really i mean you could totally put on some tights and you're good to go um but yeah, so it's like Halloween, Halloween edition here, and my house is decorated for it. Um, I want to talk about a couple of my favorite purchases that I got for house decorations for Halloween and for the fall, basically. Um, and also a couple of um, items that I bought for Halloween, props for the party, and stuff like that. I love I love things like that, and I love shopping, and I love doing all that kind of, kinds of things, so I thought, you know, why not share, and maybe, hopefully, I get this out really, really quickly, do a quick turnaround, and then you guys could go ahead and um, buy some stuff for Halloween also, and hopefully it's still available as well. They should be, especially with Amazon. They're really good at that. Walmart, I got a lot of stuff, um, but let me start off. So, um, for Halloween, uh, the party, I dressed up as Little Red Riding Hood. I really liked it. Sorry, I'll keep bringing you guys over. I just wanted to show you guys, you know. Um, it, it came with a cape. It came with this, which actually cinches up, which is pretty cool. Um, it was kind of short, um, but I had tights on underneath. And I had the red cape, which is right here. And the red cape was really, really long. It, like, goes all the way down to, like, probably the floor. And I'm short, so pretty much almost hit the floor. Um, hopefully you guys are a lot taller than I am. And... It will not hit the floor for you guys but the little red riding hood was really cute i put on some boots um some tights and i was good to go um i wasn't hot either because thank god this is like a bustier so you don't need to put on anything underneath and a cape hit my arms which you guys know are an issue and i hate my arms so i was happy and because it's very light material um i was good you know i was not hot at all and i got this in a 1x 2x for 48.99 it came out to almost 50 bucks um and i got that from legs avenue but i think i purchased it from amazon i will definitely give you guys the link down below as well um jay dressed up as a ninja um and that was really cool um his was a little tight i think he got he got like a size smaller than he should have but ninja he got um like some swords to go along with it and he also um his ninja outfit was pretty cool he got that from walmart he only got it for like i think 25 dollars or so um and it came with uh, a mask that went from like the eyes down which is really cool it came with like knee guards um wrist guards and the actual full outfit and then oh and then like a ninja like um kind of armor to go around the chest but it was like all very soft fabric there was nothing like plastic nothing um not an actual like armor but it was like all just fabric but it was really cool and he liked it a lot and sebastian he was because sebastian's favorite he's a total youtube kid as i am a youtube parent of course um but sebastian's favorite youtuber is um ryan from ryan's world and ryan's toys reviews so he 
convinced me to get him this. Like, I had issues with it. I'm like, can't you just be Superman? Can't you be Batman? You know, can't you be, I don't know, something different. I didn't want him to be a kid on YouTube. And it's not technically Ryan himself. It's Red Titan from Ryan. So you can see that, Ryan's World, Red Titan. Um, which is pretty cute, and I do like the outfit. I was just like, how a regular costume, but he really, really loves Ryan. Um, I, I like watching the videos along with him, and he wanted to be, you know, the Red Titan Ryan superhero. So, we got it. He looks so cute. I will um, definitely send, uh, no, insert pictures in there. Oh, wait, I have this to show this right as well. Doo -doo -doo, a floating Red Titan head. And it's actually really comfortable. Sebastian loved it. Hi. <laughs> Sebastian loved it. Um, it wasn't that uh, sweaty at all. He had, didn't have um, a little foam pad in front of the forehead, so he won't get can, he won't collect sweat on it. You know, it was pretty cool. The eye vision was really good. It's pretty wide. Um, so he liked it. The hair is made out of like velvet here, velvet velvet fabric. So he liked it. I liked it. He was happy. The the um sorry guys, I always say like the <laughs> the costume was fit him actually pretty good. He got it and I got it for him in a large. If you guys could see the large size four to six because he's five years old and he currently fits five T. Um so we really liked it. And it was and we had a great time at the party. I will try to insert a few clips or at least one or two pictures so you guys could kind of see what it is. I love decorating. That's kind of my thing. Apart from photography, apart from reading books, apart from a lot of things. Um, so I have a little backdrop here, decorated a table, you know, decorated the house. Um, that little table. Oh, you see, that's one of my favorite things. You see the little ghost back there? So cute. A dollar from the dollar store. You cannot go wrong. It was really awesome. I loved it. That was one of my favorite things. I do have like a list of favorite things for Halloween that you guys could buy that I ended up buying. It was really, really cool or really cheap or different. Um, like these little books. So I found these little books. I was like, oh my god, look how cute. It's a Halloween trick or treat. Um, I found these books at the dollar store. Look how cute this is spells and potions and um you can stack them up casting spells casting spells so you could stack them up which is what i did and you could um you could stack them up look and then i had them holding see that look how cute that is i had them holding um like bowls of candy and they also look like you know kind of like stacked up potion books and spell books it was so cute i loved it you could have them holding candy there they actually I totally forgot to mention this one they open up they open so you could put little candy in there you could put anything you want in there and they're so cute i love it um and they were a dollar each a dollar like you cannot go wrong with a dollar um I also want to keep showing a couple of few of my favorite items that I did like that I bought. Um, I bought the majority of my things I bought either from the dollar store, um, one or two things from Party City, and um, Walmart. I got like not a lot, but like two or three things from Walmart. So I did a little bit of um, shopping in different places, and I did it also throughout like the month, so I could pick it up. Um, so I could pick it up easily. Sorry, didn't realize uh, that my palm was showing. I have to edit that out if I can um so yeah we actually had a great time it was fun um but yes I'm on to now my segment of a couple of my favorite things those boxes that you saw from the nine ancestor was awesome that was one of my favorite things so it's this mask a dollar you replace the battery because this one is not apparently working but it was working when we got it and it's and it lights up and it looks really creepy so that was one of my favorite things um I got this pumpkin I love anything black, I love anything spiky, or anything metal accessorized. So this is from Target, and I think it was $12.99 if I'm correct. I thought it was so cute. I landed up with my other pumpkins, and my husband and my son loved it. This, this is my favorite out of all of them. How cute is this? Cute little mummy, right? I'm like, oh my god, he's so cute, I wanna eat him. He looks like a little white group, like mummy and stuff. But when you put him on the table, he dances let's do that for you guys 
I got this from ShopRite, I believe. ShopRite, yes. Got this from ShopRite. Man, I'm gonna have to blur the music because he dances too much. <laughs> Awesome. That's that. That was probably the number one favorite thing of out of all the things that I got for Halloween. Um, here's another good one that I loved. You see this? This is um, I bought a Halloween cupcake kit from Walmart. It was only like five ninety nine, I believe. I've already used up like two packs of it, two of the of the inserts that are in there. But these are cupcake. Let me show you. These are cupcake liners. And I say happy Halloween, bloody, because I love my favorite, favorite types of movies and even books are to crime and horror and movie definitely hands down horror, which I know is like funny because a lot of my friends don't love horror, but I love horror, man. I think it's my dad because growing up, he um, would make us watch horror movies all the time with him. So it was like, it was like nothing to us. That and Jackie Chan movies, like really Jackie Chan movies, but I don't love Jackie Chan movies. <laughs> Just the horror movies. That stuck with me. So these are other cupcake liners right here. With blood print on it. And I used up. So there is no more. But it came with like little candies. See, focus. With little bloody white bone candies. And then these were cupcake picks. I liked it. It was like, it was gonna like, what? decapitate you in the head so along with like cute little spooky like ghosts and cute little um frankenstein um toppers i would i, I interspersed like bloody hands and bloody <laughs> cadaver skull it was awesome <laughs> my son's so used to it so it doesn't even phase him but yeah <laughs> maybe it's a little creepy but whatever i liked it we had a blast <laughs> and um what else is one of my other favorite ones I had a lot of fun doing this. Oh, yes, that's right. So, see this right here? These ghosts were one of my favorites. The little white ghosts. See if I could get close to one. See the little white ghost right there? Mm, the light is killing that. Hold on. Oh, there goes one. And there goes some right here. See those little white ghosts? They're so cute. They were uh they were three dollars at Walmart for like ten of them or maybe even two fifty. They were so cute. I put them all throughout my ceiling and I put bats as well that I got from the dollar store, but I only wore like five or six bats, so it wasn't a ton. And they're really heavy, so they kept plopping down in the middle of the party on people. <laughs> but this is also a really cool purchase right here. Right now it's kind of hang half hanging off but it was an inflatable spider with like you know uh, the legs hanging off another side of the archway there and that was really cool people were kind of like what is that that's creepy and i was like yeah i know so as you can tell i love creepy stuff <laughs> but um but yeah so i'm just gonna kind of segue into i'm gonna try on these costumes for you guys remember this is the little red riding hood and it's a size 1x 2x from legs avenue from amazon i believe and then this one is the walmart one size 14 14 14 16 what does it say 14 16 extra large for 24.99 so that's pretty cool for walmart also i've had this for a while already but this is the skeleton hoodie that I bought. I think it was from Walmart like years back though. That one was like at least a few years back for only like $25 that my husband occasionally uses when he doesn't want to um, kind of dress up or do anything special. Um, so yeah, so you guys can see what it looked like and then we should be wrapping this up. Thank you guys, hold on. Uh, these were another one of my favorite buys for Halloween. Um, I got these from Amazon before they
blood donor type but we would put of course people's um name and then that way they wouldn't lose their um little blood sack and we could refill it for the kids we did hawaiian punch and for the adults we did some sangria so it was really cool everybody loved it everybody was just kind of walking around sipping their uh, little blood basically hits the bottom almost the floor the bottom of the floor see how nice it looked this is right here um the chest was kind of a little big on me don't worry there's no <laughs> nipple slippage there um it was a little bit big on me um but you know if you had bigger boobs that would be great for you this cinches up you can make it a little bit tighter you can let go a little bit um, I think the dress probably might be a little short on some people. This went above my knee, as you could see. And I'm just throwing on like I threw on some kind of red sneakers. Um, but this is above my knee and I'm short. So if it fits me above my knee, it'll definitely fit you shorter than that. So just keep that in mind, you know? Oh, I'm trying to stand you guys up. But, um, but yeah, I liked it a lot. my nebusiness but do you see really cool really easy hoodie goes oh no my, my dirty house <sighs> goes all the way to the top i like it it's pretty easy simple costume size medium fits and i'm about size 14 or so so that um was a really cheap goodbye for 25 bucks like years ago Okay guys, I actually really really like this witch costume. I think it might actually um fit me better, be more flattering. Oh, I'm sorry, excuse me yeah. sir. Would you like to get into my uh, screen time there? Oh hello. Oh you're bleeding from your a fracture on your skull? That's good to know. <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> and here is another oh, little oh, ghost. Oh, 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 oh. Um I actually really like this witch costume um better. It's just less fussier I guess than um the little red riding hood. Look at my cool little witch hat. <laughs> okay. I am going to show you. Um it's very comfy. I have space in the boob area as you could see. Um lots of tool. Still have my red sneakers on. The arm, a lot of space in the arm. Again this is um extra size extra large and this is uh 14 16 flouncy little thing here really comfy velvet kind of material super soft these do not um cinch in the waist at all so i guess they're comfier than the other ones um but there's no trying to make the waist tinier trying to make the waist wider nothing like that um here let's see if you could get a better view there and oh that is because there's crinoline underneath which i actually appreciate see this because there's crinoline underneath it actually <laughs> makes your booty kind of look bigger I guess. but whatever i don't mind you already have a big booty then what you gonna do might as well like accent it okay let's see see this super comfortable 